Hi and welcome to tutorial 57 in this series of tutorials designed to help you learn TradeStation Easy Language Programming. This is going to be a beginner level tutorial and I'm doing it in response to one of the comments I got about program 14 and that is somebody noticed that at the bottom of the screen having created the program there were some warnings and um, the warnings if we just go into the uh, easy language help can be seen written written down here and basically they said the expression uses logical operators which in TradeStation are AND or OR and uh, what they're suggesting is the use of parenthesis to ensure that an expression is evaluated in the way essentially that we want it to be evaluated so what I've created is a very little simple example trivial example and uh, I just want to go through and demonstrate some of the, the ways that you might use parentheses to make sure that a um, logical statement is evaluating the way that you want it to. So what I've created is a little uh, program that looks at is it sunny, is it raining and do you have a coat and the idea is uh, if it is sunny in other words that is true and uh, raining and have to set to false then we'll say go out is equal to true and uh, if uh, if it is sunny is false but it is raining in other words raining is true and have coat is true then we'll go out will also be true so let's just change the inputs and just see how it works at the moment so this is applied obviously to a to radar screen so let me just double click on tutorial 57 so let's say it's sunny and it's not raining that's false and we don't have a coat false that's already set so I'm going to press OK and uh, if this thing's working correctly it will say is it sunny true is it raining false do we have a coat false go out true because it's sunny equally uh, we could just go in and change the inputs so that it's raining and we have a coat let me just do that so now it's not sunny that's false we're going to make it raining and we're going to have a coat so let's just see if that evaluates correctly and it does and then finally we could just try um, a third scenario and that would be that it's not sunny it's raining and we don't have a coat so let's just turn that to false and then I will reveal the logic behind this to you so that's that's working fine so let's look at the actual program now what I've done I've set up these inputs is it sunny raining have coat and then a variable go out and the formula at the moment or rather the expression at the moment is saying is it sunny or raining and have coat now the problem with something like this although it does work in this particular case it could are we actually saying um, something like is it sunny or raining and we have a coat in other words it doesn't matter whether it's sunny or raining it's got to be one or the other and we have a coat or are we saying that it's sunny or raining and have a coat and I think uh, you will agree that in this particular case this latter scenario is the one that we're actually shooting for in other words either it has to be sunny or both raining and have coat have to be true for go out to be evaluated as true so my suggestion to you is simply this that rather than um, getting a headache about how TradeStation is going to evaluate a logical expression the best thing to do is to use the parentheses so that you can see very clearly yourself uh, how it's going to be evaluated and I think by adding the uh, parentheses here you'll see that indeed that is the case it makes it a lot clearer to uh, to read so I'm just going to verify that and uh, we're just going to go back to the chart and just uh, make sure that that's still working correctly so let's just go and make another change here to the inputs 
OK, so let's set that back to true. So we've now got a coat and it's raining, so we can go out. So go out should evaluate as true. And uh, finally, let's just do one final test. And let's set that it's sunny. And these two are both false. Let's see if that evaluates to true. As it does. So anyway, that's a very sort of simple beginner level uh, discussion about logical operators, but I think it could save you a lot of uh, headaches in the future by using parentheses to make the statements read in a way that makes sense. Anyway, hope that's helpful. Uh, please, if you're not part of the Markplex email list, then please go to markplex.com and subscribe, and I'll be happy to let you know when I create new tutorials or programs. Thank you.